Let's have a look at Seek Teachers, seekteachers.com. This is their homepage. And it's fine. I find it cluttered. It's not one I like very much. Maybe a drop down menu would be better than this complete list. So that's basically it. Let me just show you one of my bugbears with Seek Teachers. So there's two jobs. It's all the same job. They divided it by different, as if there's more jobs. And it's just the French version of the English job. So let's just have a look at it. Okay, so um, you go through Seek Teachers if you want more information. As you can see it doesn't tell you what the school is. It does tell you the salary though, so fair play and what the benefits are. That's good. Some good information. Western trained teachers. So they do, they do accept non-Western trained teachers, but there's this priority based upon um, mainly Commonwealth countries plus the United States. Their country info section is quite good. There's a hell of a lot of information about Zambia. I've lived and worked there, so I skimmed it. There's also the YouTube video. And I think most of the information is quite accurate. Interestingly, the club, pub, and nightlife. Um, I think this place is closed down. And this place is, uh, it's, not so, it's not a place which I would particularly think that a credible website should be publicizing. It's got a little bit of a, well, intriguing crowd. Quite sure if that's the term I'd use for that place. Anyway, we go back to the home page. You can search by country, which is yeah, I prefer drop down boxes to that previous way, or you can search a term. If you go to job seekers and go to jobs, you get a list of all of the jobs. And they have a substantial database. There are a lot of jobs on seekteachers.com. And as you can see, they have contacts in the UK, US, Australia, Canada, and the United Arab, United Arab Emirates. So they have an extensive reach. Most of the jobs being in the Emirates and other places, particularly in the Middle East. And also, like most other agencies, a lot of jobs in China. Sorted by section and institute, institute type and various other ways to refine a search. So it looks good. Till we look. Now, I'm a school manager, so thus, it, this is where I would look. School management jobs. Now, an English language specialist is not a management position. Now, most of the jobs are, but as you see, there are some jobs which are not leadership roles mixed in with those which are leadership roles. So, there's a lot of jobs and you can refine it still further so let's go to a uh, primary leadership and there we have more jobs available some generic opportunities take a look at this one okay Primary in Pudong tells you the curriculum type.
the salary and tax is quite low in China. Looks like a good package. It tells you more about. Now, I've previously done this. I've gone to apply now. I've entered my details fully. This bit's annoying. So if you're a middle leader, and you could you, your experiences, you've probably done more than one of these if you're a middle leader. And it's kind of refined. Searches by continent, then by country. But you know, you might be interested in a number of different countries. So you have to click them all where Kind of, so you click that, you can upload your CV, and I always recommend that you upload some sort of supporting statement on the same document. You can only load one document, but add in a CV, maybe two pages, probably best in Word in case they're using some technology scanning profile to check the applications rather than PDF and supporting statement and any other information. Always include some referees as well and make it clear whether you want them to be contacted or whether you'd rather that they waited to contact them. Now, other than the kind of ambience of seat teachers, my biggest bugbear with them, and this is over a number of years and this is also experience of colleagues I've spoken to is when you submit a job it will acknowledge that you've submitted the job and you think all right great fine and dandy I'll be hearing from them soon I have never once heard from seekteachers.com except the regular spam that they drop into my inbox and they spam me all the time with jobs which are not tailored to the interests or areas that I have identified on my profile, just with any old job. Um, it's disappointing that their after service is awful. One would expect, even if you don't fit the job that you've applied for, that an agent would contact you and speak to you about what other jobs you might be interested in, what parts of the world you want to work in. That's the way that virtually every other agency works. Seek teachers do not. If you are from Seek teachers, or if you've used their service and found it to be good, please say so in the in the comment box underneath, because I'm not happy with Seek teachers. I find them to be one of the least effective recruitment agencies in the sector. Just the fact that they have such and a number of different people. So here's the employment services. They do have recruitment fairs, but um, let's be fair. Right now, there's no recruitment fairs going on. Let's see if they have any online ones. Nothing right now. Some useful links down the sides there. Some good features. Uh, so look at their blog. Okay, this is where we give them credit. The blogs are regularly updated and pertinent information. This is quite a lot. Albeit there was quite a gap, but there's a year gap here. So it seems that during the COVID-19 pandemic, they've had more time for writing. Okay, fair enough. But keep your blogs up to date if you're in this industry, because it just gives you a, a better professional reputation. They offer other educational services as well as you can see, including TEFL courses. So please do let me know if you've had a better experience to see teachers. Um, my videos, I do try to be very positive. 
I find it harder with C teachers, except that they're substantial database. So let me know what you think. And also, if this is in any way helpful, please like the video on YouTube and also perhaps subscribe to the channel so you'll get notifications of any future content which will go to your YouTube page rather than to your email because I don't want to spam you. I don't like spam. Thank you.